Hello everybody and welcome on the Grounded Glasgow, your favorite. I'm a holding PokeTuber off this channel and today I am your coach of the Lowland Needle Queens in the Alola International Season 2 and this week we are going to take on the Texas Clear Bodies coached by Metagross Z and the current score of the Metagross Z are currently 0 and 1 and your Lowland Needle Queens are currently 1 and 0 but that doesn't mean anything towards uh, my opponent. My opponent can battle really well, as I probably have heard. Uh, he was in the Alone International last season, so not a new face this week. But we are going to take him on. And he has a pretty scary draft, if I may say so myself. Uh, so if you're hyped for another team builder of the Alola International, be sure to hit that like button down below. And let's also get straight into the ways of doing things. So... For the people who don't know how I normally do my team builders, I'll go over the team of my opponent, talk about the threats they have. I will also talk about the things that I think my opponent will bring. And then at the same time, I will also talk you through um, the team that I brought, well, what I'm going to bring. And also why I have to spread and the moves on there um, to go against his team. So, uh, let's actually get straight into my opponent's team right here. And you will also see it on your right right now. His, his team consists of Vaporeon, Mew, Mega Pinsir, Donphan, Jolteon, Amoongus, Ferrothorn, Kecleon, Piloswine, Delphox, and Crobat. And his Z captain is gonna be Mew. Just as a clear up for you all of you guys, Mew Enum Z is banned, so he cannot use that. So that's just something to get out of the way. And for the people who don't know our squad, our squad is Curum Black, Mega Scissor, Arcanine, Florges, Reuniclus, Gastrodon, Magneton, Shaman, Gliger, Heracross, and Licky Licky. So, and our Z Captain, by the way, is Curum Black. So, look at my opponent's team. He has a couple of threats. Start off with Vaporeon. Vaporeon on this team is going to be a bulky Wish Pass, so mostly it can also be offensive, but most of the time it is used as a cleric with Wish Protect, Toxic, and. Baton Pass slash Cult. Baton Pass is not bad. Baton Pass can be used, only you're not allowed to pass speed, so we need to keep that in mind. Vaporeon normally with round, indeed, Wish Protect, Toxic maybe, or Heal Bell instead of Toxic. And the last one can be Scald slash Ice Beam. Looking towards our team, I think he probably most likely would go for the Scald over the Ice Beam because of the composition of our team. Uh, the second Pokemon thing I saw on the squad is of course going to be the Mew. The Mew can be very threatening. The Mew is base stat 100 all across the board. So we never know what it's going to do. Uh, once, uh, well, the first couple of turns we probably don't know what it's going to do. We need to watch out though for potential setup Mew, Scarf Mew or a Z Crystal Mew. That is the thing about Mew. You can rather do everything with it and we do not know yet what it's going to be. Then the third Pokemon on the squad is going to have a Mega Pinsir. Mega Pinsir is of course very threatening. Uh, flying Bucked up when the Mega Evolves gains his speed boost now right away. And also it's very hard to the Aerial Age return. Uh, but we got some answers for that. Gets also priority in Quick Attack. Has some setup options as well. So we need to get those in mind. But I think overall we can do fine versus Pinsir. The other Mountain Squad is going to be Dawn Fire, Which is the Hazard Removal. Yes, for his Mega Pinsir also. And Mew can also be one I forgot to mention. Dawn Fang can have the Rapid Spin. Can have set up Stealth Rocks. Has priority in Ice Shard. Has coverage in Gunk Shot and Seed Bomb and just things like that he can get. So keep that in mind. And also Dawn Fan has, uh, is the ground type. So he has an Earthquake stat also which can be very hard hitting uh, from Dawn Fan. Then next up he has Jolteon which you have in the PMC as well. as a base 130 mod which has good speed and also good offensive presence as well. Because uh, Jolteon can have a modest nature pretty much versus our team. So we need to keep that in mind as well that he can do that. Then he has a Amoongus Regenerator, a uh, very annoying mon. Uh, one of the things that can swap into Curum Black pretty much with an Assault Fest. Uh, Amoongus Regenerator, of course, can have Spore. Um, can have Spore. Uh, doesn't have Leech Seed, luckily enough. But still is a Grass Poison type, though. Uh, can be very bulky, of course. Uh, can also be a, run a bit offensive, but I think for this matchup, if it comes, it will be a bit more bulky. He has Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn should not be taken lightly. Ferrothorn has a 4 times weakness to fire, but he can capitalize on that with the rest of his team. Uh, can also hit very hard with Jower Ball and Power Whip, of course. Can also set up Stealth Rex, can set up Spike, can set up Leech Seed, so very, impo uh, very important. We need to watch out for that. Very threatening uh, set he can run is with, Ru uh, is with Iron Bart and Rocky Helmet. Iron Bart Rocky Helmet ensures him to get some chip damage off onto some physical attackers on my team. So. Uh, if we do not have a cleric, we can run down that. He can choose that route effectively. 
<sighs> I'm sorry. Uh, next up, he has a Kecleon. Kecleon has also the potential to set up Stealth Rocks. Has d different kinds of priority. Has Fake Out, Sucker Punch, uh, Shadow Sneak as an example. Can be very threatening if you can play around with that carefully enough. He, he is limited though um, to the priorities though because he must have caught some coverage for the rest of my team as well as I can run through that. Uh, Kecleon has the Protean ability so it will adjust his type according to the move it uses. Greninja is also familiar with that but Greninja is, is banned with that ability so you do not need to worry about that. Then there's Pilo Swine, another stealth rocker on his team. Um, can be bulky with the Violite. Has also priority in Ice Shard. Uh, Ground Ice type of course has some weaknesses. Uh, also one of the things that can switch into Curum Black, of course. Overall, do not have much to say against Pile of Swine. I don't, I'm not familiar with Pile of Swine at all, but I think it can be a very good mod. Uh, next up, he has Delphox, which is also the tier 4 mod on his team. Uh, Delphox, Psychic Fire type, uh, Gen 6 starter, of course. Magician or Blaze. Uh, can be, of course, a Calm Mind variant. Can be Life Herb variant, Power Herb. Solar Beam is also a real thing. And then, of course, he also has likes that he can run a Trick variant to counteract my uh, my mods on my team, which can be a bit bulky, like Florges, uh, Licky Licky, or indeed Reuniclus and such. And then finally, yes, of course, has a Crobat. And Crobat, of course, is very fast as well. Paired with Jolteon, creates an amazing full turn core. Has the Poison Flying type and hits hard with Brave Bird, has good Poison Stab. So, uh, that leaves our fairy types in the back as well. So, things that I will think that he will bring to the table. Of course, I will expect him to bring uh, Mew. I expect Mega Pinsir. Uh, I expect Amoongus. I expect Kecleon. And then the last a couple of a toss-up. I think Jolteon can come. And Crobat. Uh, but also, uh, Ferrothorn can come along if he wants to bring that. Just really depends on his team composition pretty much. Uh, so let's now actually go over the team that I decided to bring. So uh, the first one you're looking at for a while right now. We are looking towards a glider right here. This is Axel making his debut right now. As the Violite with immunity. Working oh, we cannot have immunity and defog right now. So I probably go with, uh, let's see. Probably go with Hypercutter. Uh, because he cannot have defog and then his hidden, uh, and his hidden ability. So he's going to run Hypercutter, Earthquake, Rockslide, Defog and Roost. 244 HP, 212 defense, and 52 special defense right here. Um, the 212 defense is to take on Mega Pinsir greatly. Also do some great damage to him with Rock Slide because he's 4 times weak to that. Uh, the 244 HP helps with that. And then the 52 in special defense is pretty much what he had left. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh my god. And then we have Earthquake for Stab, Rock Slide indeed for Pinsir. And then we have Defog to get rid of Hazards and Roost to recover some off. Uh, very uh, odd route right now because he has a Mega Panzer, but I do not decide to bring Rocks. I instead of bring Rock Slide. I do not think we really need that because of the presence that our team has and hit Plow really throw through his team. There's going to be Gliger, offensive and defensive at the same time. So let's hope he can do it greatly. So the second Pokemon we have is Frenzy, uh, the Curum Black right here with leftovers with Terra Hold ability, rocking Ice Beam, Fusion Bolt, Bruce, and Substitute, rocking 148 HP, 168 attack, 40 defense, 92 special attack, and 60 speed with a rash nature. The 16 speed was enough to outspeed a 16 invested bulky Mew. That's what I was aiming for. And then we have the 92 special attack with a rash nature to actually do some tremendous amounts of damage toward everything on his team including the ferrothorn 25 percent minimal with ice beam uh fusion bolt is of course gonna annihilate vaporeon is gonna annihilate mega pincer can do some tremendous amounts of damage to crobat of course and because we have terrible vault we can also hit jolteon with it so that's also amazing we have the bomb 48 hp uh, with a 40 defense to allow us to uh, not get our sub broken by the following things which includes scald vaporeon uh, Mew Psy Shock, Mega Pinsir's Quick Attack, Don Fence Ice Shard, Jolteon's uh, Volt Switch, um, and then Pilo Swan's Ice Shard. And those are some notable things that cannot break our sub. So that's going to be great. We have Roost for recovery. I was really debating on Roost uh, being there. Also could have run HP Fire or something along those lines, but I think this is fine. Uh, because we do have some options to switch into, uh, for example, Ferrothorn. So... Uh, very complicated spread, pretty much sta uh, stat distribution and everything of his stats. But I think this is a very effective spread, so let's actually move on to the third mod as well. The third mod on the squad here is going to be Hercules, the Heracross, rocking a flame on for guts, close combat, mega horn, facade, and fling. Uh, 96 HP, 248 attack, 24 defense, 
Bomb 40 and speed. Hammer Curse wants the same amount of speed as Kirin Black. Actually, how well. It outspeeds the same as Kirin Black. It outspeeds a bulky Mew, which has 16 EVs E speed. Uh, with Close Combat, Mega Horn, Facade, and Flink. Facade is a nice neutral move for everything on the Steam, pretty much. Close Combat, Mega Horn, Fireball, Stab. And Flink is, for example, to catch uh, Dawn Fan on the Switch. Uh, if he wants to switch in to take a hit, uh, we can burn it. Also, it accounts for Ferrothorn, accounts for Cacleon, for Pile of Swine, and even for Crobat if he wants to switch into that. Because Crobat seems like a likely swap into a Bok type move for uh, for Heracross. So if he indeed is a physical Crobat, we can catch it on the switch and then fling it on him. Which does A, some damage, and B, uh, we can burn it. But the, this is just after that we have got the Guts. Because we need the Guts to actually do some tremendous amounts of damage. And because we have so little speed investment, we can actually allow ourselves to rocket Adam and Nature. So Adam and Guts, Heracross coming through. The 96 HP and the 24 defense are just a bit more bulk and allows us to have an uneven number in HP, which with the 24 uh, defense we have included in the HP, we would not have. So that's pretty much it. And the 248 attack is pretty much what we needed. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Jello, our Reuniclus. After last week's performance and did great, I could not leave it on the bench this week. I needed to bring it along. As a Cobra Berry this week instead of the item that I wanted to give it. My initial idea with the Uniclus right here was to give it a Dragonium Z. I know it is not my Z Captain, but I thought it could hold a Z Crystal to block the trick of my opponent from Delphox because I'd expect a trick uh, Delphox for the Uniclus, so that's why I wanted to grab a Z Crystal. But unfortunately, it is not allowed, so that's why, and unfortunately, I need to rock out with this. So we have a Colbert Berry with Magic Guard with Psychic, Shadow Ball, Calm Might, and Recover, 188 HP, 236 Defense. 8 special attack at 76 in special defense with a calm nature. Uh, we have the same reason we did the same kind of EV spread like we did last week for a Prime Arena. Uh, we, we, after plus 1, Jolteon, Modest, Choice Specs cannot 2 shot Reuniclus with a Shadow Ball. So that's going to be great. So we have that uh, going for us with the 188 HP. 236 defense allows us to actually to take some more. Um, Hits from, example, Feral Thorn, so we can set up on that. Uh, also take hits from Mew, from Mega Pinsir, and also from mods like uh, Pyloswine slash Crobat, if need be. And that's pretty much the same as last week, just a different EV distribution and also a couple different moves. We have Psychic on there to hit Feral Thorn a bit harder with our stat because Psyshock would not do the trick. Also with Dawn Fan harder, so that's also good. Shadow Ball also hits for the... Um, Shadow Balls for the Delphox is for the Mew also, and it was just great. Uh, I wanted to change it up to potentially something else that could hit um, his team a bit harder, or I would have trick. I would have had trick on this set myself. But I thought let's play around the uh, choice scarf actually if he wants to trick us. So let's watch out for that and go from there. For example, if Kieran gets choice scarf, that's not even bad. They were choice scarf, but then we cannot use those moves. But I can play around it. I feel. Whoops. Uh, and that's pretty much with Uniclus right here. Uh, so let's hop on to our fifth mom right here. Our fifth mom is going to be also is making his debut right here. It's going to be Hotspot, our Licky Licky. Leftovers with Oblivious ability. Rocking Wish, Protect, Flamethrower, and Body Slam. 220 HP, 24 attack, 52 defense, 212 special defense, and, um, and then Assessing Nature. We decided on Assessing Nature. Because we do not need to outspeed pretty much everything, anything on this team. So that's why I went for the minus speed nature. Because we needed the attack and the special attack in this. Body slams do a bit more damage towards Vaporeon, uh, Mew, Dawnfan, or something like those lines. Flamethrower is to catch the Feral Thorn on the swap, actually. Uh, so we can hit that super effectively. And then we have Risk Protect to heal ourselves up, including with the leftover. A bash wishes around towards the rest of our team which may need it like for example Heracross or uh, Gligar if need be so I spotted better in this occasion than Florges would because of indeed the likes of uh, Mega Pinsir or whatnot and then also Dawn Fan which can run Gunk Shot for potential Florges so that's that Licky Licky is here gonna be great I hope so and if not we'll see from there so that's gonna be Licky Licky now moving on to the last one I did not quite know what to add Really a toss-up between some months, but in the end I decided that we could add Sky our Arcanine, making her debut also, rocking the leftovers with intimidate ability, like a flamethrower, morning sun, toxic, and roar, 240 HP, 148 defense, 8 special attack, 52 special defense, and 16 speed. 16 speed was the same out speed as uh Huron Blackwood hit, which is then that it would um 
speed creep a uh, bulky mule with 16 EVs. Then the 240 HP with 148 defense allows us to take Omega Pinsir a bit better. And then we have the 52 in special defense to take some hits from a specially defensive mod. So that's also that. That's actually going to be the team we rock out with. The battle will go up tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. And I'm the Ground and Glass Grunt. Thank you so much for watching through this team builder. I'm the Ground and Glass Grunt. I will see you in the next video that I'm going to make. I will see you next time guys. And I'm out.